What's the crack, lads? I'm Paul Harry Manuface, and welcome to a little game called Mirai. There's someone on Twitter, or not Twitter, actually, YouTube, commented about this game, saying that it was on Steam and it was free. And it seems like really. I, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's like. It, it's really positively reviewed on Steam, and like. They're pretty much all positive reviews, and everyone. The first few um, reviews were like, "Don't keep reading the reviews, just play the game," because apparently there's something that happens or something goes on, and the reviews kind of give it away. So, and then the actual caption for the game, I think it was by some gaming magazine, was like, "Don't ask questions, just play it." So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just play it. Let's see what's happening. Do I play with it? Oh, I play with it. the arrows. Okay. Space. Talk to priest. My prayers go out for poor Julia. It's been a year since her husband has passed. She hasn't been seen all day. I imagine she's grieving. Do you mind visiting her at home? It's the house to right, to the right as you leave town. Okay. Hello. You need to stay close to Mama, otherwise she worried that we've run off. Mother, did you hear about the boy? Julia lost her son in the cave shortly after her husband died. Poor Julia. I would never let my boys out of sight. Hello. Sometimes daddy lets us pat the sheep on the head. They're so soft. Okay, so first on the right. So this is her house, isn't it? Look at bookshelf. There's a picture on the shelf of a wife, husband and young boy. I wonder where they are. Okay, she's not at home. Uh, priest. Father Jack. Julia's not home. Maybe she's out at the farm. If you could find her. Okay. There's only one exit. What's this? To the farm. Okay. There we go. So this is the farm. Go to the farm. Hello? Read, read signpost. Farm. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Shut up, phone. Go, go to sleep. There we go. Um, poke sheep. Jesus, fucking calm down. Bah. 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 <laughs> ten out of ten sheeps. Uh, what's that over there? Um, farm. Door is locked. There's something over the other side, though. Let me get over there. Hello? My brother and I were chopping wood when we heard moans coming from the cave. My brother went in to investigate. We should have been back by now. I'm worried. Can you check on him? There's a lantern behind you on the stump. Pick up lantern. Okay. Can I pick up axes? No. Okay. In we go. Hey you, come over here. Didn't my brother send you? Bless him. The ones are coming from further down. I'd go in, but my sight's no good. You should take this knife. Who knows? You may need it. Okay. Hello? Hello? This is a fucking horror. Mouse. Oh. Hello. Look at tools. There's a book on top of the pedestal. It's labeled farmers. There's a lift of name inside. Kyle Longo Yahoo. Potate. Potat. I like strawberries. Big dick to our own. <laughs> okay, the one thing I do know about this game is something to do with the last people that played it so it remembers who's played it and that's the people's names on steam that did it and apparently big dick tyrone played it 10 out of 10 for big dick tyrone hello hello the fuck hello farmer approaches 
Why do you have blood on your offals? Why do you have a knife? I heard moans. What have you done? Why do you have blood on your overalls? I killed a man who has kidnapped the family. Okay. I assume that some same man who gave you the knife gave it to me. He is a coward. We are true men. Aaron Moans, what have you done? If I wanted to kill you, I would have done it. Instead, I am politely talking to you. Let me pass and I will help you find the child. Okay. Alright, I will let you go. Where the fuck did you go? Hello? Okay. Oh. Hello? Urgh! Please help, I'm in a lot of pain. I came here to end my life. My name is Julia and I want to see my child and husband in heaven. My husband was a miner in these caves. He spent days mining for gold and then one day he found, him, he found something. He found a gold nugget. I thought we could retire and be comfortable for the rest of our lives, but he didn't trust me. He buried the golden nugget to spite me, and then he disappeared. Everyone in town heard about our good fortune. They thought I was rich. I was so ashamed that I couldn't tell them the truth. One day my son wandered into the cave. He wanted to find his daddy. He wanted to make everything better. But he never came out of the cave. I went to look for him, but I couldn't find him. Now it's too late. Now I have nobody. Will you help me? Will you help me in my life? Oh, Jesus. Oh... That's, that's a gruesome fucking question. Oh, uh, she's not going to survive anyways. Like, look at her. She is bleeding out. Just end her pain. Oh, please end it quickly. Stab. Is that it? Is she dead? Okay, I think she's dead. Go! Do, do we go back the way we came? Okay. Hello? Hello. Farmer approaches. What? Why do you have blood in your overalls? Um. Oh. Uh, why do you have blood in your overalls? The woman was in pain. Why do you have a knife? The man at the cave entrance gave it to me. I heard moans. What have you done? Nothing. I came here to help. Let me see what will happen to you. And that is where this short story shall end, at least for now. It is up to the next player of this game to choose your fate. Just as you chose for the previous player. Ah! Oh. Enter your first name. Paul. Enter your email address. Okay. I, I will black that out, but okay. You will be emailed about your faith. Thank you for playing. Press space to submit your details. Okay. And that was it for that. That's a really interesting thing. That the actual next player of the game decides your fate. Like. Hmm. Odd. I don't know. I'm probably. For anyone that watches the video. I'll probably post on Twitter when I get an email to see what my faith was but shit that, that, that was a really cool concept like I, I know the graphics and everything are like horrendous because it's a tiny little box game and it's all 2D graphics but 
it's just still a really cool concept. And how you actually, I suppose, like what I wrote there, like what I wrote to the in the in reply to the answers, is what's actually going to come up for the next player. That's a really cool integration of like everyone playing together. So obviously, all the things that was that was said to me when I asked them the questions were the things that Big Dick Tyrone fucking. <laughs> That and that he answered. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Okay, well, I have to leave this episode here because that's all there is of the game. But it's a really cool thing, and if you want to check it out, it is free on Steam. So, yeah, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.